Hello class, my name is Dr. Kennedy Perrin and we are going to discuss chapter 4.2, Methods of Childbirth. So what is a midwife? Uh, this individual is somebody who's trained to help women in childbirth. This is different than a doctor, less education is necessary. So childbirth used to take place in the woman's home exclusively, but rarely has this been done in the US and developing nations today. Childbirth uh, used to be a lot more personalized. So today, childbirth often takes place in the hospital setting um, with doctors who are readily available to help and intervene as needed. Medicines are also available for pain management and pain control for mothers. And birth is a lot less personalized and a lot less private today. So how is anesthesia used in childbirth? First, let's define anesthesia together. So this is a method that produces partial or total loss of the sense of pain. Um, before it was just uh, how it was that women were to experience pain during childbirth. And it was just a fact that we knew. So today, in most uh, births in the US, anesthesia is utilized in some capacity. Uh, epidurals are very common. Now we're going to talk about natural childbirth. This is a method of birthing in which women use no anesthesia and medications um, and are educated about childbirth and the strategies of coping with the discomfort naturally. So this is very painful for the mother. Uh, some mothers elect to deliver their children in a way like this in order to not subject babies to possible side effects from medication during birth. There are also different methods called hypnosis and biofeedback for birth. So hypnosis is held um, at a standard that is to help patients through a variety of activities such as birth without discomfort. An example might be going to the dentist, having a baby or sticking to your diet. These are all not um, preferred items to do. So mothers who can create a hypnobirthing for themselves, decrease the tension in their muscles and focus on solely relaxing through the birthing process. Um, biofeedback actually allows women to be aware of their own heart rate, breathing, blood pressure and other bodily functions. Um, that they are trying to control. This allows women to be more aware during the birthing process and also allows them to control more of their birth, um, helping them to be less afraid and more relaxed. What is a prepared childbirth? Hmm. First time mothers um, experience pain uh, and an unfamiliarity in the realm of childbirth. Uh, there's something called the the Lamaze method. Um, this is a method of childbirth in which women are educated about childbirth prior to experiencing it, uh, learn how to relax and breathe and conserve their energy through um, lessening pain and have a coach, usually the father of the baby or a partner um, present during the childbirth, also uh, termed prepared childbirth. So usually couples will go through this class together and learn about ways to soothe um, the mother of the child while going through birth. These classes also teach the expectant mother and her partner how to use the Lamaze method. So next we're going to talk about cesarean sections. This is a method of childbirth in which the neonate is delivered through a surgical incision in the mother's abdomen. This is also called a cesarean section. It's named after um, the emperor Caesar because his mother actually did have the first cesarean section to deliver him. Um, almost one in three births in the US today are now C-section. This is 32% of delivering mothers uh, delivered through C-section. Within a few hours after this major abdominal surgery, the mother is asked to get up and walk. This is a very painful method of childbirth and takes the body uh, weeks to heal from. So home versus hospital births. Most women today uh, give birth in the hospitals like we discussed. Home births can be very risky and unfortunately become um, scary when there is not a medical me immediate medical attention uh, properly there because it's not possible to be at the home in case of set emergencies. 
The mortality rate in the U.S. for mothers actually has increased. So 17 mothers and 100,000 births will actually perish, unfortunately, due to childbirth. In developing countries, that means one in 10 mothers will die during childbirth. That's 10%. And next, we will move on to section 